Gloria Stewart, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on cinema. Whether you first encountered her in a memorable film or have lesser-known facts about her that intrigue you, she remains an iconic personality. Share your cherished memories or personal experiences with this legendary actor in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. Stay tuned as we delve into funny, shocking, and even poignant details about Gloria Stewart. Keep watching for a journey through the fascinating facets of her life in the golden age of Hollywood. Gloria Stewart, a luminary of classic Hollywood, left an enduring impact on cinema. Exploring her filmography offers a captivating journey through the annals of film history. For those new to her work, a few must-watch movies provide a glimpse into versatile talent. In James Whale's The Old Dark House, she showcased acting prowess alongside a stellar cast. Another notable project is the pre-code drama Street of Women, where her performance stands out, reflecting the era's social dynamics. However, it was her role in the 1997 blockbuster Titanic that catapulted her back into the limelight. Portraying the older Rose, she delivered a poignant and memorable performance, earning an Academy Award nomination. For those discovering her through Titanic, delving into earlier films provides a richer understanding of career depth. In the mystery thriller The Invisible Man, on-screen charisma complemented the film's suspenseful narrative. Additionally, Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm showcased versatility in family-friendly fare. For a deeper dive into filmography, consider Gold Diggers of 1935, a musical comedy where charm contributes to the film's allure. Meanwhile, The Prisoner of Shark Island highlights the ability to navigate historical dramas. For those seeking a snapshot of her career, here Comes Mr. Jordan is a delightful choice. In this fantasy comedy, the performance blends seamlessly with the whimsical narrative. In conclusion, the filmography is a tapestry of cinematic gems spanning different genres and eras. For newcomers, starting with Titanic provides a modern introduction, while delving into earlier works unveils the depth of contributions to classic Hollywood. Gloria Stewart, a distinguished figure in classic Hollywood, showcased her acting finesse in diverse roles. In the 1935 musical comedy, Gold Diggers of 1935, she portrayed a young woman coerced into marrying a wealthy but disagreeable man, only to defy expectations by falling for a less affluent suitor. This theme echoed in her later career in the 1997 blockbuster Titanic, where, 84 years prior, her character made a similar choice, intertwining love and societal expectations. Remarkably, she was the lone survivor among the Titanic cast who had witnessed the actual tragedy. Living to the age of 100, mirroring her character's lifespan in the film, brought a unique authenticity to the portrayal. In an unusual yet poignant twist of life imitating art, she outlived the fictionalized events depicted on screen. Following her passing, rumors circulated about her final resting place in various Hollywood cemeteries. Contrary to speculation, her lifelong wish for cremation was honored. Her ashes found their eternal home in Santa Monica Bay as family, friends, and members of the Titanic crew and cast gathered on the Santa Monica Pier to bid their farewells. In exploring her life, we uncover a tapestry of roles that spanned the golden age of Hollywood. From the whimsical charms of musical comedies to the dramatic depths of historical dramas, her career reflects a nuanced journey through the ever-evolving landscape of cinema. Gloria Stewart played a pivotal role in forming the Hollywood Anti-Nazi League in 1936, showcasing a commitment to social causes beyond the silver screen. This demonstrated dedication to principles that extended beyond her acting career. In terms of family, her daughter, Sylvia Vaughn Thompson Park, born on June 19, 1935, pursued a different path as a gourmet food writer, authoring multiple cookbooks. This divergence in career paths within the family highlights the diverse talents that existed beyond the realm of Hollywood. Notably, at the age of 86, she underwent makeup aging to portray Rose DeWitt Bucator at age 101 in the 1997 blockbuster Titanic. Despite the recognition garnered from this performance, the experience was less than enjoyable for her. This adds a layer of realism to her portrayal, reflecting the challenges faced during the filmmaking process. Her involvement in social issues, the diverse pursuits of her family members, and her candid perspective on the challenges of aging for a role in Titanic all contribute to a nuanced understanding of her life beyond the glitz of Hollywood. These facets, along with an extensive filmography, reveal a multifaceted individual who left a lasting impact on and off the screen.
At 87, Gloria Stewart achieved a unique distinction, becoming the oldest person ever nominated for an Academy Award. However, this record was later surpassed by Christopher Plummer at the age of 88. Judd Hirsch also shared this age when nominated for the Fabemans in 2022, a testament to her enduring impact even in later years. In 1938, she resisted taking on the role in Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm, citing a mismatch with her dramatic abilities. Despite her reluctance, studio executive Daryl F. Zanuck persuaded her, emphasizing the exposure gained through Shirley Temple's popularity. Stewart later acknowledged Zanuck's foresight in a 1998 interview. A distinctive choice marked her decision to truncate her last name from Stewart to Stewart. She believed the six letters in Stewart balanced perfectly on a theater's marquee with the six letters in Gloria. A subtle yet purposeful adjustment reflecting her attention to presentation. Gloria Stewart's life and career reveal a person who navigated the complexities of Hollywood with a pragmatic approach. From record-breaking Oscar nominations to navigating studio pressures, her journey remains a fascinating chapter in the history of cinema. Gloria Stewart played a crucial role in establishing the Screen Actors Guild, being one of its founding members. Beyond her acting career, she demonstrated commitment to social causes, such as forming the Hollywood Anti-Nazi League in 1936, showcasing a dedication that extended beyond the silver screen. In her extensive filmography, Titanic marked her third encounter with a doomed ship. Earlier in Here Comes the Navy, she filmed aboard the USS Arizona, and in Girl Overboard, she navigated another ship-centric narrative. Her cinematic journey traversed diverse genres, from musical comedies like Gold Diggers of 1935 to historical dramas like The Prisoner of Shark Island. Acknowledging her contributions, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame was conferred upon her on September 27, 2000, at 16714 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California. Despite reluctance, makeup aging at 86 for the role in Titanic added a layer of realism to her portrayal of Rose DeWitt Bucator at age 101, reflecting the challenges faced during filmmaking. Her daughter, Sylvia Vaughn Thompson Park, took a different path, becoming a gourmet food writer. This divergence in family career paths highlights the diverse talents that existed beyond the realm of Hollywood. At 87, she achieved the distinction of being the oldest person ever nominated for an Academy Award. However, this record was later surpassed by Christopher Plummer and Judd Hirsch, a testament to her enduring impact even in later years. In 1938, despite initial reluctance, she accepted the role in Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm, acknowledging studio executive Daryl F. Zanuck's foresight in a 1998 interview. A distinctive choice marked her decision to truncate her last name from Stewart to Stewart, a subtle yet purposeful adjustment reflecting attention to presentation. Gloria Stewart's life and career reveal a person who navigated the complexities of Hollywood with a pragmatic approach, leaving an indelible mark on and off the screen.